Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Zephy with Knives, and I uh, got another knife making update today. Uh, been working quite vigorously for the past several days because I've had some free time. Um, parents went out of town, so got their house to myself for a couple days here, and I'm just going to be working um, and posting regular updates. Um, made a big order from uh, Gent Supply not too long ago. Got um, some more steel. Um, she did red and black G10. Um, never actually worked with G10 before. I've only used my Carta, but uh, I've heard that G10 is a lot easier to work with, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, got a rivet setter, some rivets, uh, or some uh, eyelets for Kydex. Got a couple Kydex sheets here. Um, got a little guard. I don't know, it looked cool. It was just a couple dollars. Thought I would get it and stick it on something. Some uh, steel pin stock. Um, got this, which is a, a heli, or hell or whatever. I don't know how to say it, but it's a, a knife blade that they make. Um, I picked up a guard with that as well. So, um, here's the blade. It's actually pretty nicely made. The grinds are just ever so slightly uneven near the tip. But, um, I don't know, it's a really cool, going to be a hidden tang in some G10. Um, I've never seen a, like a Swedish style, uh, Scandi ground blade with a G10 handle before, but, um, should be pretty cool. Um, got this little guard I made for it. Actually, it came as just an oval, like a big oval with a slit cut in it. But I, um, did some file work on it, if it will focus. It's kind of like a little Anzo pattern on there. I know it's going to be really hard to see because this camera's just being a piece of shit. But, um, yeah, it's going to look really cool. I'll give you some better shots once it's done. Just got the top kind of rounded off there. Um, so that fits on there nicely. Um, so you saw this blade I got ground before. Um, just finished this one about 10 minutes ago. And it's pretty hot, actually. Uh, yeah. Just got that done. Probably going to heat treat both of these today. Um, this one's going to turn out really cool, I think. Um, and then I also bought a kitchen knife blade because uh, my cousin's wedding is coming up soon, and uh, she's a chef, so I decided to buy a kitchen knife blade, which is here. It's just a nice Santoku. Um, I think it's a pretty beautiful blade. This one's 440C, I believe. Um, this uh, hell blade is uh, laminated, by the way. It's like a you know harder carbon steel in the middle. But um, I got these this uh, block of black palm, which is really gorgeous wood, as you can see, um, damn it, it won't focus though, um, so I, um, cut off the top part of it and flipped it sideways to make some bolsters, to get a bolstered effect on there, um, here, let me see if this will help, um, better lighting, but, uh, Stuck some little mosaic pins in there. You're not going to be able to see them at all. They're uh, nickel, silver, and copper. But this wood is just really cool looking, but it really, really loves to splinter just everywhere. These little little black um, worms that are going through it just love to pop out. But um, I think it's worth it for how cool it looks. So I'm going to finish that up. I just uh, epoxied it last night, so I need to pick up some epoxy to patch these little holes. But, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, should be a pretty cool knife, actually. I'm excited to see it finished. It's going to be really, really pretty. A really nice knife. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, pest folder is still... Let's see here. It's still locking up beautifully. No play at all. Um, it's a little bit difficult to disengage sometimes, but I'd rather have that than blade play. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all. Uh, have a good one, guys. I'll keep you updated.